I wonder how much it would cost to maybe rig up some type of pulley system. So if you did hit someone with a Hadouken, they flew to the back of the room, you know, what I mean? or elevate, levitated, and you force hold them. <laughs> That's what this. I thought. Shut the fuck Dude, up. Dude, that would be so sick. <laughs> you should go to Helium or wherever else and, and come down like from like nine feet from the ceiling on a cable. Because <laughs> <laughs> you can rig yourself up. Like if they start getting you mad, you start levitating. <laughs> you want to come when the sky is cracked. And Jesus Christ comes again, and every eye will see him when he come again. So here's our question for you this morning, brothers and sisters. The simple question is this right here. Are you ready? Are you ready for his return? Amen. <laughs> All right, amen. amen. Are you ready? for his return. Brothers and sisters, are you ready today for the return of the Lord Jesus Christ? If you if you were all black and they put you up in the ceiling and after the feature, like the host comes back out and you just slowly descend from seven feet. You've been there the whole time. You've been up <laughs> You could do this, dude. <laughs> How dedicated are you? I'd be so happy. What? <laughs> Would be so funny as if they noticed me during the <laughs> during the feature set, just on the roof, like a bat, dude. Yeah. <laughs> How strange! There's nobody here. Bit of a slob, isn't he? All brilliant men are. <laughs> You'd have to trick out the lighting so you can't be... <laughs> <laughs> Descend slowly. <laughs> a, a true a true vampiric entrance. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Oh, there's so much sick shit you could do. Yeah, if you got pulled out and I was supposed to be levitating, but <laughs> I was too heavy, so my feet just dragged. <laughs> you should be attached to pulley at all times yeah. and have, like, your one leg lift. <laughs> you, you should add, like, an aerial aspect to your show. Yeah, a little Cirque du Soleil just type. Fucking... <laughs> just occasionally, like, ride up a curtain. You could do this. This wouldn't be... <laughs> Dude, you, know, you could do this. You know what would be tight is to run along the back wall at oh Helium real God. quick. <laughs> real crouching tiger out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, my pop God. pop all your tippy toes. <laughs> Dude, that'd be so sick if you just jumped and just fucking levitated and came down. And never acknowledged it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just back to the show. I mean, how much were you talking to get a little crouching tiger action? Probably not that much. It's like, and then I was like, shut up, dad. And you just fucking ran along yeah. the walls. <laughs> Would you guys rather 69 your dad or get shot in the head? <laughs> the wild wild west <laughs> he did it that guy stabbed him it's him they would kick my ass yeah, it's the jacked funny. guy carrying the blade <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it's true you can't get jacked it's gonna be too obvious i'd yeah. have to dude no if you're that jacked you're gonna be guilty yeah, true. It's obvious a guy like that does that. <laughs> so if you're yoked when you're 50. It's almost as if he's been training for this. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he dedicated a year of his Just life. It's a foot pursuit through the favela. I yeah, get up. so sad and scary. We're running through there. Oh, I mean, People you chasing throw you. out ones and the kids would be on your side. True. You'd be like, block them off. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Ninos, ninos. Yeah. You to me. But then the, co the cops would be like, you they'd be like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you know, don't speak Spanish. Oh, yeah. Oh, Portuguese. Are you right? Are you yeah. right? <laughs> they like, definitely they, they speak Spanish. Maybe. Down there too. Dude, it's, well, they got to speak some Spanish. I, when I missed my flight in Brazil, I thought I'd be able to speak some Spanish. And they were just like, dude, what, the, what are you doing? Yeah, they speak Portuguese. Yeah. yeah Portuguese. And I'm, probably English. Yeah, dude, oh, when I went to this English. airport, probably Spanish. It was very, very, I couldn't find anyone who spoke English. There was one mm. person who could, like, you broken English and a little bit of Spanish, and it was just like, manana. We were both like manana, yeah, manana, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like manana. And I come back <laughs> to try to get another flight, and I was like, "Fuck!" I'm gonna be testing my Spanish in Ecuador all of May because I'm living down there with my wife while she's doing immersive medicine. 
Oh, that'd and be nice. It's going to be nice, too. But What's I'm, the medicine? Uh, she's just going to be working in like a hospital down there, doing that's like full so spectrum family stuff. That'll be really cool. Yeah, Fuck, dude, dude. But that's going to be tough because my spanish is not the best when it comes to hearing oh get ready yeah have you you've been to a spanish-speaking country before right? to spain and mexico yeah. yeah spain was i wasn't even close yeah they speak the fast i thought spanish. i could speak spanish yeah yeah <laughs> no that's how i feel right now you get there you're like oh no, never, never mind never mind yeah yeah, mm-hmm. yeah you smile i just smile and nod yeah, yeah but i want to learn <laughs> spanish that's like while i'm there <laughs> you know? is that a stone no i'm using duolingo or babble excuse me yeah doesn't work Babel. Well, Babel works. Yeah, Babel's great. Babel, Babel, Babel works. Like we crazy. all use Babel in here. Yeah, I'm an yeah. old Babel Are they a sponsor. Dude. Yeah, mm. I was watching. Uh, was watching the. Well, there's a new Waco documentary. Mm-hmm. Really, it doesn't really change anything. It just goes just, over Waco again. Yeah. But there's a sniper in it. That's kind of a hard ass. That really fucking bothers me. Really. If like you him. see it, you'll realize how fucking. Late. Did you watch it? Mm-hmm. You didn't think that guy sucked? I didn't. I didn't say this guy rules. That's for sure. You I guess I didn't kinda... have a visceral reaction to him, though. Oh, really? I yeah. at first I was like, this guy's pretty cool, mm-hmm. but then you slowly realize, like, oh, this guy's fucking lame. Yeah. He Who was, was he fucked. sniping for? He was. He was with the FBI. He was. Yeah. yeah. Not our team. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he wasn't riding for the squad. Uh, the bad guys. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. The guys the who burned a bunch of children to death. Yeah. Because yeah. Really? Oh yeah. They had they... machine guns. Jeez. Well, so they did fight. Yeah, they firebombed. Yeah. Well, I think it was. I think the guys inside might have done it, but they might have. Exp- uh, yeah, actually, yeah. why the fuck would the guys inside do it? Well, because then they're martyrs forever. Yeah, but I think they were f- trying to fight. They were probably tired from banging all those kids all the time. True. Were that they was, banging kids in there? That was their big thing. Allegedly. Yeah. Yeah. Also, why it's they all these things right that the FBI would put on somebody after they burn them alive? Be like, they started that fire. Yeah, yeah. they were fucking yeah. kids. Also, mm-hmm. yeah, true. They can't defend themselves. Yeah, yeah. Winners write the history. But the sniper. You you didn't mind him? I didn't think about it deep enough. He started to piss me off yeah. at the beginning. Again, I was like, damn, this guy's sick. Mm. And then he just he's just such a hard ass the whole time. And then he's kind of like, at the end, he's like, somebody tried to shoot. From the burning flames, or from the from the burning house, a bullet was by my head. He's like, that means that guy's last action on this earth was to try to shoot me in the head. Mm-hmm. That's dedication. Yeah, he had like, like big boss up, man energy. Fucking dork. He was real pro wrestler man. He's yeah. covered in tattoos, yeah. sleeve tattoos, like new cool ones. And no, he's he like, yeah, you get when you're fifty five. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, that guy sucked. That guy sucked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trust me, if you see a clip of this guy, you're gonna go, "Damn, this is a corny fucking dude." Yeah, yeah, it stinks. I watched that while re-experimenting with cannabis, and I was too busy trying not to have a panic attack. Yeah, yeah. I've laid off big time, and I've been slowly yeah. like yeah. less is more kind of thing. I really, I only really need a little bit more, like anymore, because when it hits you and disorients you, it for me anymore, it's just like, uh. I don't like feeling outside of my my faculties. I don't like feeling outside of control. But I do still like it when it comes to mushrooms and stuff. But that's like, hey, that's where I keep my penis. (laughs) Well, I feel like with mushrooms. (laughs) Is that new? (laughs) It's cool because they're similar shapes. Yeah, it's funny. (laughs) Your chud. (laughs) My chombus. You have have an obelisk. You fucking thick chombus. (laughs) Circular penis. Yeah, well, mushrooms, they're like, it's almost like there's something there that's like kind of smart in a way. With weed, it's just like chaos. You get too high, it's pure chaos. I hate it so much, dude. <laughs> Although, being like fucking super hammered sucks dick, dude. Yeah. Like when you're not blacked out. Yeah. You know what I mean? When yes. you're so fucked up, yes. you're just like. <laughs> yeah. You fall. Yeah, it's like when the puppeteer <laughs> takes his <laughs> hand out of you. It's so slow. The yeah. fall, you're like, <laughs> your neck gives out in the shit. Mm. Yeah, one time I fell, I broke my friend's dishwasher. It was open. <laughs> I went in the sink and just <laughs> slammed the door right off. I've killed yeah. so many patio chairs, dude. Yeah. <laughs> just like. Because <laughs> you have that like half a second of like I'm you safe, feel it. and then <laughs> when yeah. you're hammered falling, it comes, it starts you just, before you're falling. Yeah. You're like yeah. I'm falling. You just go full Peter Griffin. <laughs> yeah. That shit sucks. It'd be cool to figure out how to somehow stay at like the absolute cusp of your legal limit, so uh, that you could like drive and be like, yes, I have been drinking, officer, but I'm at my legal. Yeah, limit. but the legal limit for me, I don't even feel anymore. Yeah, legal limit doesn't do really? it really yeah. at all, dude. If it's I have what, like, like four beers, the legal limit. Yeah, yeah, it's like that's nothing. crazy. Yeah, 
It would I do could nothing. switch to liquor, but that's not good. No, having one like no liquor's bad. It's just shots. like a fucking steady flow. Liquor's when you fall lights. down. It's yeah. good for your health to have two shots a day. Yeah, one two in the morning and one right before bed. <laughs> <laughs> An eye opener, <laughs> so your hands quit shaking and you can drive that school bus. Yeah, when you're drunk and you know it and you're sober enough to like know you fucking crossed yes. the line, it's, it sucks. Yeah, it's tough. Yeah, because I used to black out and I'd be like, that was probably fun. But now when I do get that drunk, I'm fully aware. And just oh. also all the fucking like sugar calories in me dissolving and like blacking yeah. out. Oh, Emmy, get me home. Blacking me out home. is no good. The last three times I blacked out, I was wearing the same cowboy hat. Nice. Yeah. That's kind of fun, though, in a way. It's cursed. Two at a wedding and once at my wife's birthday. I guess my wife's birthday, I, there was a whole bunch of fruit for cocktails and I was just throwing it on the neighbor's roofs. And she was like, knock it off. And I was like, is what you do. <laughs> that was the big quote. Yeah. <laughs> is what you do. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah. A fun, you're a fun drinker. Hell yeah. I get into it. I mix it up. It's I don't fun. remember the last time I blacked out. Really? I don't really. Deadwood, South Dakota, last October. Last October was my last My friend week? Matt and Molly's wedding. Oh, mine was probably uh, World Series. Hmm. That's not bad. That's yeah. Full. Ohio State, Notre Dame early in the year. I got obliterated. World Series, Super Bowl, I was cognizant. Yeah. I haven't blacked out in a while. It's the worst. Sometimes I'll try and use PEDs, like eating Adderall or like a Vivance or something. That makes it way worse. When, yeah. if, when that wears off, it's just you full scale collapse. It's yeah. like they cut the strings on the, the marionette. Yeah. And Get so, me yeah. out of here. Put me in a wheelbarrow. I, dude, I'm an, abs- I'm an absolute problem. If I'm drinking on a stimulant, it's just my. I get zeroed in on just bad ideas, and I carry them out. I yeah, execute fun. them flawlessly. Because you have drunk fun. schemer brain. Yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Yeah. Dude, I'm, I've... Hmm. I gotta, we got to get drunk. We should. I want to see you drunk soon. Yeah, I'll have a blast. I like it. I had a fun time. Uh, the cellar? We were drinking there, that right? Was, yeah, that was a little bit. That wasn't We didn't crazy. get hammered. I got fucked up at Billy's birthday party. I threw a party baby for Billy, Billy's Baby birthday? Billy's birthday bash. Uh, Barstool. Baby yeah. Billy's birthday bash presented by Brittany at Barstool. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> <yeah. laughs> when I get really drunk, I start smoking tons of weed, too. Oh, yeah. So then I like it does this weird dual thing where I just become a fucking goblin. When I reach for the cigs, you know it's bad. Well, I start. Yeah, true. Well, I'll yeah. start do. Last time I got like super drunk like that, I had the vape pen on me. I was just like ripping it greedily. And then I start getting I get into like social experimentation where I'm like. I'm going to say this to that person. And then I'll like laugh. I'll like, to me, it's the funniest thing Dude. you can possibly say. Yeah. Same. And it, it's so fun. Yeah, it's fun. I br- it was very fun. Yeah. I kept thinking I broke like the social. Co- I was like, I'm breaking through the social coding. Right. Yeah. And it's I'm rewriting. Yeah. <laughs> yes, dude. Yeah, that's, right. the, that's the pot. Uh-huh. Yeah. But you're pot drunk and enough. Pot, yeah. Drunk pot enough to do combinations it. crazy. Drunk yes. enough to act on those. Because, yeah, my ideas. drunk brain's like, say that. Yeah, that'll be hilarious. I'm like, yeah. what if I said this? My drunk brain's like, yeah, dude. That'd that's be awesome, weird. Man. I haven't blacked out in a while. I was, I used to black out a lot. Me too. It was like the really? thing to do. For I would while. black out like twice a month. Yeah. Yeah. It's rare for me to black out. Yeah. Black and early stand up. Barstool. I did mm. that case race, that first one. Yeah. That was the last time I, I was in this house. house. Yeah, that was horrendous. It's yeah. a really terrible idea to be completely out of your faculties and moving around the world. Yeah, and also yeah. impervious. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Like also, this is the end of the world. Nothing can hurt me. There is no tomorrow. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm blacked out right now. Yeah. I'm God and the devil. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. Pretty fun. And the getting there also sucks. Because <laughs> getting like, there requires so much it's like alcohol. Twenty beers. Yeah. Because I don't do the liquor. Usually, if I'm blacked out, there's liquor involved. There's some shots. Yeah, it'll start. I'll give way. I'll I'll cave in and be like, all right, I'll do a shot. Let's do a shot. Yeah. Yeah. Then you wake up and your heart's pounding. Oh, yeah. (sighs) You're just like, I'm going to die today. (laughs) There's not enough water in the world. No, I just have to sit in the shower. I sit on the ground in the shower. That's World War One. He had a fucked up arm. Yeah. And the Russian guy would make fun of him. Yeah. Basically, that like apparently that's a big start for the war. Was it like my Ka- leg? Kaiser Wilhelm. Yeah, Kaiser Wilhelm. And who yeah. was the guy who came before him? Who there uh, was a guy named Bismarck. That was Bismarck. Big. Yeah, he apparently fucked. Bismarck was apparently pretty good at what he was doing. And he completely Bismarck was the guy fucked up all his shit. Yeah, he was fucked up. Yeah, dude, he had a short arm, and his mom would just write letters, being like, "Oh, the sight of him just disturbs me." It was terrible. Yeah, they're the so czar, sad. Czar and the king yep. would make fun of him. They hated him. His little tiny arm. So then, then he's, he's like, All right, when he was go. little, he, they would be like, "You have to be able to ride a horse." And he would he would just fall off the horse because <laughs> yeah. he couldn't grip it. And he would sit there as a little boy and just cry over and over. And his mom would just like he would come back to his mom, and his mom would just look away and be like, "Jesus Christ, your arm's fucking you freak. Gross. Get back on that horse." How little was the arm? It was 
short enough to the point where he was like a tall strapping man. Did he have like a Nemo arm? He yeah. had, yeah, he had a bit of a bird wing going on. Dang. I don't know, but yeah, did they have I don't hands? To see it. Apparently, though, that was a big thing though, because then he ended the. Uh, they had a secret alliance. And Germany had a secret Isaac. alliance with Ooh. Russia. What was it? He's got, uh, a, little, he's he's got a little bird hands. Let no, me see that thing. It's fucked up, dude. <laughs> Yeah, man, he had a little guy. <laughs> so, dude, they apparently they had it going on. Uh, what you call it? Bismarck had it going on where they had France isolated, and they were like they were looking pretty good. But then Wilhelm stepped in and was like, "Yo, yeah, fuck politique, you, dude. fuck you, Russia." And then yeah. told England like, "We're starting the navy. Fuck you guys." Which was like England was like, "Yeah, we just can't have that. You fucking idiots." So apparently he was a big. Uh, is it was it correct to say that Wilhelm II was a big start to the First World War, or big factor in it? Yeah, he was. He caused it. Yeah. What a dickhead. <laughs> what a fucking asshole, dude. His fucking I, dickhead cousins should have chilled. They should have, dude. You think a podcast is going to start World War Three? A podcast? Yeah, it's going to start World War Three. Nah, it's going to end it, bro. <laughs> this podcast might end. This World is War definitely going to end it. <laughs> yeah. Hold up. I got to find out about this book. Yeah. But yeah, it was pretty tough. I didn't know. It's, it is cool learning stuff about that. Like, I had no idea. Yeah. His, I know. Like people History say, like, rocks. History does rock, but everyone's it's like. It's the they, best. They didn't know how it started. Isn't that a thing? They didn't know how World War One started. Like there's, there's like they don't know exactly the why of it. Yeah, no one really does. But I think it was just king spazzing. I think people were all just king spazzing. Yeah, I mean that's the that's the textbook answer. Yeah, because it was there was for real like because there was the British lady was married to the Prussian. They were all the same family. Yeah, but then what would happen is the mom would be like, "I'm gonna raise you the English way," and you'd be like, "Yo," the German dad would be like, "Dude, shut the fuck up about that English bullshit." Uh, so then they would get it. They, he'd be like, no, "Fucking Archduke Franz Ferdinand got assassinated." But that because they were tied in with Austria, Austria. They think that's why they did it. The English set it up to sh- get him shots. They knew that would draw Germany. I think the English conflict. wanted. That's what Wilhelm claims in his letter to Hitler. He wrote Hitler a letter. Where he yeah, was like, I, I know those letters. Me, I know those letters. They fucked yeah, me, yeah. Hitler. Hitler, I like what you're doing, bro. Yeah, Wilhelm was the worst guy ever. Wilhelm was <laughs> against Hitler. Then he, but then and he, and then he like he had to, he well, had to be like, actually, you're the man. Got on the bandwagon. Yeah, he had to get on the bandwagon. He started being true. Bismarck was wild too. Yeah, he was like, nah, he was, he wasn't with yeah, it. He was geezed up. I think they were thinking about bringing Bismarck back during the really the Weimar Republic in between. Really, and he was too geezed up. He couldn't do it. Yeah, what was the, like? He was who, the man. Bismarck was the, was the man. He had it going on, dude. They had a secret alliance with Russia. <laughs> they didn't tell all these other countries. Like, yeah, by the way, we're in alliance with Russia. And yeah, fuck Bill, Bill Hem got up there and was like, "Yeah, we're ending that." He's like, "Fuck them." Yeah, we might fuck you guys up. And they're like, "What the fuck, dude?" <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I called you a fucking pussy. It is funny thing about World War One starting from being like, "Yeah, that guy's a fucking pussy." Yeah, dude. it's one, three fucking dumbass brothers. <laughs> I know. It's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, just started battling each other, and then everybody died. That's fucked. Yeah, it's so bad. Meanwhile, eight, eight million fucking horses died, dude. All because of those fucking nobody, cousins. Nobody talks about Think about those horses you like. Imagine 8 million of them getting fucking smoked by my artillery steeds. shells. My steeds. <laughs> yeah. All your steeds getting gassed. Why, nobody dude? fights like family, dude. Dude, do you ever get into fucking how they kill? <laughs> do you ever get into how they do slaughterhouses now? I just, yeah, I saw a video of a pig on a conveyor belt that made me kind of sad. But what do you mean? Dude, it was Brittany was asking me, like, how do they kill cows? And I'm like, it's the fucking no country for old men bolt. Yeah. But that's apparently a temporary paralyzer. And <laughs> if they don't. So with, with cows, they try to hit them into like a state of shock. So then they can kind of yeah. like, call it desanguinize them, like drain the blood out, like slit their throat, drain yeah. the blood out of the body. But there are studies done. I don't know if these are like PETA studies, but they're saying that like 20% of the cows actually don't hit the state of shock. So they're just fucking sl- throats are slit. And then chickens are like tied by their feet, like 400 at a time. And they get hit with like a hard electric shock. So the idea is like they're going to induce a heart attack in the chickens. <laughs> and then they slit their throats. Yeah. And drink. You know, I was reading about this. Like, this is fucking Don't look insane. into slaughterhouses. Dude. Oh, it's so bad. Don't look into fucking Muslim slaughterhouses. What do they do? They get rowdy. They bless it up. They bless it. I mean, they, kinda, them, I think they, they, they fucking. It, yeah, they face it. They curvy like, sword <laughs> slit their throat. Yeah, they really? Like facing Mecca or some shit. <laughs> yeah, that's, that means yeah. it's good to eat. That's that good chicken. Something like that. Is that good chicken? My grandfather used to brag about snack, snapping chickens' necks. Nice. He's like, you grab them by the neck and snap it, and you pull their feathers out, and they drain their blood out on your front porch. I was like, fuck yeah, dude. It probably yeah. feels nice to snap a chicken's neck. I don't, yeah. It's probably satisfying. Yeah, I guess when you do it, yeah, when it's done, you're like, I'm about to munch. It is the microwave. Yeah. yeah. You're like, sweet, I'm about to munch. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it was, yeah, 30 seconds, but 
<laughs> like I'm about to march. Yeah, the death thing. Yeah, I the only the closest thing I've come is just smacking a fucking mouse with a shoe, and yeah. it is very nice when it's done. Yeah, <laughs> you go, I Jobs. felt really bad about that until he died. Yeah, and it's, you know, it's over. Once yeah, he's you... dead, it's like this is trash now. Yeah, I, I like. I think about that when I smash bugs. I'm like, this is kind of fucked. I'm I like, stay away from smashing bugs. I try not to, but it's I like avoid it, yeah. I'm in a house of all girls, dude. I can't be like. Those dudes are not fucking with fucking yeah. respecting all sentient beings. They're like, murder it, please. Yeah. So I'm like, all right. So I have to like murder bugs. I'm like, bro, I'm sorry. I'm like, really like, I'm sorry, dude. I got to yeah. fucking crush you. You got to go. Try to explain. I'm like, these are house spiders. These are beneficial. They're going to kill other things. They're like, we don't like them. I'm like, sorry, spiders. <laughs> I'm Punch's pilot. I'm like, yeah. I'm, I'm watching my hands. Yeah. I, just, I just fucking smish a bunch of little spiders in my yeah. throat. I'm like, sorry, guys. Crucify him. Crucify <laughs> yeah, like, him. Fucking, are you sure? He's far. What did he do? But <laughs> I mean, these guys don't even want to bite you. But I do, although I am paranoid about these. I fucking, like the bumblebees. Yeah, you gotta leave nice. those boys alone. There was a bumblebee dying. Jim <laughs> Jackson stepped on one. <laughs> so there was a, but then he just fucking like jumped up and just walked away. And I saw the bumblebee just like scurrying around on the ground. I was like, brother, going go. go into the night, brother. Yeah, smash him. But yeah, I've been killing a lot of bugs. I'm not happy about it. You gotta let stick bugs go too. Stink bugs? Oh, dude, I those, those ones I so I harmless. capture them and I throw them out. Yeah. yeah, she's we had some Airbnbs where she's like, kill that stink bug. I'm like, I'm not. And I take, let him walk. I capture it, dude. Even flies. You have a fly in your house? I open, hate flies, dude. Open I the door. S- smash a fly. Yeah, but all you got to do is open your door. Yeah, they're trying. One of those fuckers get in there. Well, if you have, a, I used to have a screen door, so Ooh, I'd open it and they just yeah. they go right to the screen. <laughs> I, dude, I'm telling. I used to do this all the yeah. time. I'm like, I watch my wife chasing around like a crazy lady. I'm like, dude, watch this. You open the door. They they land on the screen in two seconds. Then you open the screen. They fly out. This little fucking fly heck. <laughs> this is a little fly. Go to your first, dude. I'm telling you, I observed. I spent a lot of time observing them, and I was like, "There's got to be an easier." You spent way. a lot of time observing flies. Yeah, dude. It's yeah. like I'm like, dude. If you, I'm like, they're they are naturally trying to get outside. They don't. You think because they, the thought is like, this motherfucker thinks he lives here, dude, and they think they're all up in your house. Yeah, they're trying. They're like, what is this? But they've they entered. Like, they've they truly like, entered another. They dimension. like landing on you. Do you think so? I, I know they're these. Looking, they're they like landing on you. Dude, yeah. no, dude, no, yeah. no, 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 no. Hey, they're going with you to get, get out, out of here, mister. <laughs> no. I'm lost. No, they won't grow up, dude. Oh, the woman, nice fly. I, mean, I think they. Close. I think they just land on stuff and shit on it. I don't think they even eat. I, I think, think they just yeah, they shit on everything. But they do have those little fucking nasty little siphons. They just land on stuff and go. They <laughs> land on a hot dog and just wipe shit on it. I like go, when I'm going to kill one and I see him doing his little fucking hand thing. Go, this bullshit. guy has no idea. <laughs> this guy has no idea. I'm going real slow. I'm going to go. Yeah, that fucks him up. Go real slow. Looks like the fly is like, I'm about to hit a lick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you hit him with the eclipse. Yeah, the slow eclipse. You got to go real <laughs> slow. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> fucking bled. Yeah, that is nasty. It's a big fucking fly. It had blood. <laughs> yeah, it's true. So much blood. It's a little fly heart. Flies have hearts? Look that up. I would say certainly, right? They have hearts. Mm. I would imagine they do. Everything. Does everything have imagine. Heart? Flies are little drones, dude. They don't have anything. I made it. They'd have to have hearts. I don't matter if little hearts. Animals all have to have hearts. I hope so. I don't know, man. You, you get uh, these jellyfish. Different... Jellyfish don't have hearts. They don't? They have no. like four different I don't even brains. think jellyfish have brains, yeah. They have like, they their arms are controlled independently of other yeah. things. So it's kind of fucked up. The flies don't have hearts like humans, but they have a tube-like structure that pumps their blood. What the fuck their is their heart? heart dude. <laughs> what are they trying to say? It just doesn't, they don't love like us? <laughs> How many hearts do <laughs> cows have? I don't know. One. Cows have one heart. <laughs> they have like nine stomachs. Yeah, one they heart. got a lot of stomachs, though. They, they got like ten stomachs for processing grass. Full stomachs. Yeah, they got, yeah, nine stomachs, one heart. That's the cow. That's the cow slogan, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> nine stomachs, one heart. Do cows have four or seven stomachs? They have four stomachs. Cows technically have one stomach. What? <laughs> you heard it here first. But it has four distinct compartments. Really? Mm. Yeah. The rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. So it's all one stomach, but it's broken down into four compartments. Yeah. One makes milk. They're udders. Yeah, they're pussies. Like they're they're like, cow pussies. They're like feeds. To... Yeah, it's the same. It's the mammary yeah. glands, dude. Now we're saying words, and I like it. Yeah, the mammary. It's the milk glands. They're connected to the pussy. Connected to the pussy. So here's how Sean, what are you about to jump there's, in and say? Sean, there's four. I, I just, Let's not, have it. What do you say? No, that was just making suckling noises into the mic. Oh, that's oh, good, dude. Man, what the fuck? You're trying no, to talk good. science. We're talking Auditory science. Experience. We're talking animal science. Fly yeah. hearts. Forgive me. There's 
fly tube. Your stomach. You eat food. It goes into your stomach, and then it goes down to your butthole, and then it just hits your pussy and hits the milk glands. It all comes out. That's the science I'm talking about. I knew. I, I knew anything Matt says, you're gonna be like. <laughs> He's right. He broke it down. <laughs> I don't know how that works, actually. The milk glands? I don't think it would be that hard to figure out. It's got to go stomach to titties, for real. If we're going to be serious about this, get to the you bottom You mean of it. like, well, no. I mean, I'm, it's, I'm sure it's just the nutrients absorbed from the stomach help That's what I'm saying. create so the milk. But stomach it's not to titties like, pipeline. Yeah. yeah, it's not. Yeah, there's not like a it's crazy not, There's something in there. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, whoa, whoa, was there any milk drinking? Separate, send that up to the yeah. tits. <laughs> nope, just vodka again. <laughs> bring it out. Bring it up to the tits. <laughs> Cigarettes. Perfect for the child. What do you do if you see a lady pregnant smoking? Do you say anything? Keep going. I go, nice. She's yeah. a slut. Nice, yeah. Get her digits. Yeah, you let you me know when you're done with that baby. Call me in nine months. <laughs> <laughs> Once you're all healed up, give me a call. True. Get them back. I'm going to back with the kids. I'm going to shatter course. that thing. I'm telling you, man, they got they got so, they probably get so horny, dude. While pregnant? Oh, I know that for a fact. That's yeah. true. I'm saying <laughs> that is true. The afterwards, I think women hit their peak horniness after they have kids. Yeah, because they start going like, oh, "Okay, now I need I actually now I know why I need all these resources." And they go, "Now I'm super horny." I have to get horny if I want to get money. <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I should just go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I see, you seem sleepy. <laughs> I've been up at 5 a.m. every day. Yeah, you've been, I can Not tell. Not today. I can tell when you're in sleep mode. It's I fun. know, I mean, I'm in total you're sleep. You're just full I'm book just, mode. My when you get day. tired, you go, here's the book I just read, <laughs> <laughs> word for word. <laughs> Dude, the, the Diesel book is sick. I agree. It was. It's funny you say that to me because it instantly got recommended to me on Audible. Really? Yeah, Audible might be listening. How far do you live from here, Pat? 20 minutes dude i gotta i gotta come there to drive you to the podcast <laughs> oh for sure i need full fucking do to do service <laughs> i've been getting up at 5 a.m every fucking day well, for four days four days what, dude are you it's on the my super concentrated writing time yeah it's been so fun but dude you get up at 5 a.m and the rest of your day is ruined yeah my face is like dry and hot it feels fucked up yeah i've been walking around the last four days just like like totally bewildered that's funny you say that if i wake up too early my face is the same thing yeah man yeah dude and then i've been I, I was doing this for four days in a row and it was i was productive i'm happy i was getting stuff done but then i would just pound i wouldn't eat anything i was pound coffee and i start you start feeling like fucking cyrax dude you feel like you're just made of machinery <laughs> yeah you're just walking around like uh, and if and if i get an ounce of shit from Brittany, i'm like what the fuck are you like spaz <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mad at full fucking missiles spaz. come out yeah. Dude, my heart's at 180 beats a minute. I'm like, ah, 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 ah. I'm like, I gotta stop. I gotta get out of this coffee life, dude. The coffee life, I have to get out of it. It's a vicious trap. Yeah. So cry for help. The coffee life? Oh, it's, I'm so sensitive to it, dude. I'm like cracked out on it. I get fucking whacked, and then I, I thought crack. you were getting our staff's blatantly high. Our staff gets high. They get their fucking hip. Dude, he's showing his ass. He's high and showing his ass. High off his ass. And he, he was, was a smart Alec. Dude. <laughs> Good worker, but he was always high. Always high. And a bit of a back talker. But other than that, he's He's good. He's a good boy. No one does a lot behind the scenes. No one does a lot, dude. I'm like a Russian pimp. I just drug addict the people who work for me. Yeah. And slowly like, here you go. <laughs> Chop up some clips. Here's oh, a gram. Here's a nug. <laughs> do the clips. Damn, have you been? Have you been? Have you been the plug, dude? Are you Matt the plug? And I watched Love on the Spectrum, and I was convinced. Bro. I was convinced I was autistic. I was watching that show high, and I was just like, regular Australians are just like tan, hot people. Yeah. And then if you're retarded, you just look exactly like me. If you don't look like a model, it's no just <laughs> it's no either, delineation. Dude, pale, frumpy <laughs> motherfuckers that stayed inside. If you haven't seen it, it's called Love on the Spectrum, and it's uh, but it's just a show, a documentary following uh, autistic Australians. The one at the the costume party. Oh, the, the and then Comic-Con? they just put them outside, and they talk about it. It's like a fucking nature show. They're like, oh, she may have found a mate out there, <laughs> and then they put him outside and made him talk. He didn't, you know, his autism kicked in hard, and he couldn't. She was like, I'll I'll lead it. Do you like cats or dogs? And he's like. Oh, I saw that when she was at- like, I have a cat. He's like, Do you have a cat? And he's like, Yes. Yeah. I do. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was like, holy shit. Dude. Yeah, it was very uncomfortable for And then that it's dude. like that guy, I don't know if he got paid. And now his family just has to be like, Holy fuck, dude. He was we'd send him to the dance. He ended up on Netflix. Yeah, like having like a slight nervous breakdown. Yeah, being on TV, just like, 
I have a cat named Gertrude. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, holy fuck. Yeah, it was, that was probably one of the most uncomfortable parts so far. It was he like he mean. freaks out. He just goes like, "Oh yeah." Oh, then, yeah. <laughs> that's the best part. She's like, "Should we go inside then?" He's like, "Oh yeah." <laughs> yeah, the yeah. one dude's a real Michael. I think is his name. That guy fucking rules. Love that guy, man. That guy rules. He's like, when I pass away, <laughs> I want people to approach my wife and say nothing made him happier than his wife. Dude, but he... The parents are like, what the fuck? Dude, slow down. Dude. This is your first... Dude, that is if like, that one dude finds a bay on the show, basically he's already practicing. It's like, and she will be my queen. <laughs> yeah, dude. God damn, that show. That's... Yeah, I was, I was, I was binging some Netflix. That's going to be a one season done. They're going to do that. No, that's and then, a fucking hit. Dude. You think it's going to be like a Seinfeld? That might be a Seinfeld, dude. <laughs> of course, it is a spectrum. So some, oh, of, them, dude. some of them don't have it that bad. Don't get kinda, me started on that one guy. I'm, I got that one guy in my scope right now. That one dude that's a real, dude, he's real like, Casanova. I love your body. No, the yeah. one guy who's like, I love your body. I'm like, one of you. I think, I think the dude's kind of faking it. I think bit. he's faking it for those tits. Yeah, I think he's faking for sure. Those tits tits. I was, I was watching, I was watching it, and I was just kind of like, yeah, this dude doesn't have this. My, you know, people have Gator. I have an all. Star, my all star is pretty good. Mine went off the hook when fucking Hannah Gadsby claimed it. She, yeah, dude, she claimed it, and I was like, come on. Is now. there an autistic revolution in Australia right now? There must be. You must get decent. I mean, you're getting shows. You must get some clout for autism in Australia. Yeah, I mean, autism's hot right now in <laughs> Australia. It's so in. They have to change the thing to Australia. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> but yeah, man, I I'm a big Australia, fan. Australia, yeah. <laughs> they understand like the point. Like, you want to be on TV? They're like, yeah. They're like, do yes. you understand? Yes. Do you understand what's going to happen? Yes. I mean, I guess anyone takes that risk. You're on TV, someone might clown you. But True. it's like, uh, I don't know. I I, I think it's a honeypot. I think this whole thing's a honeypot to catch alt-right podcasters and be like, oh, they made fun of Love on the Spectrum, take them down. It is this show that it's designed to be... It's a trap, dude. It's a trap, dude. Because it is such a nice, sweet show that making fun of it is bad. It is so funny. When you watch it, it is so funny. Also, when they show these people, do they have to play that music? Anytime they like show an autistic dude like walking around, it's like plong, plong, plong. <laughs> like this music while this guy's just going about his day. <laughs> like, I'm not gonna lie. On, that guy's kind of fraud. I didn't want to say it, but it's like I watched that and I was like, I think this dude's. You think he's fraudulent? I think he's in autism for the wrong reasons. <laughs> he's I think he's just trying to get ahead. <laughs> you don't think it's for the love of the game? Nah. <laughs> I don't think so at all. Yeah. I think he's just seeking fame through Tism, dude, like all the other Australians right now. <laughs> Fuck! What are we doing right now? And it's just like I got I to talk about SpongeBob for twenty five years. Ah. But dude, it's like <laughs> it's like living with a black kid. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> uh, I think I might have missed I think it. You might, I think I'm too. Phil far Phil fucking bullied me off the Netflix on that. He didn't want to watch it. I was kind of like half watching it, and then he was like, "What the hell are you watching?" Because he just saw like a date. <laughs> I was like, I don't know, dude. Put the golf on. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I did Legion of Skanks last week. Absolute unit, dude. I was a balloon in that. Really? <laughs> dude, I needed to take some time off. And you were Mr. Coolin down there, too. I was I was Mr. Cool that night. Mm -hmm. Once you're, dude, when you're a big dog like that, you have to be Mr. Cool. True. It's tough to, like, publicly be a unit and then also be like, no, I'm, I'm going to take it easy. True. Everyone, yeah. everyone knows there's no moderation. Yeah, nobody talks about that. Units are pretty much pressured into extreme behavior you have all to the time. Be, you have to. If you hand like a unit a beer and like chug this, they're like, I have to. I have to. I this is my role. Yeah, I have. There's no. I have to do this. In theory on spontaneous human combustion is that people are in ketosis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Start doing that to people. <laughs> yeah, just while they're talking. <laughs> yeah. People you make explode. ketones. And you I think that's explode. what happened in Beirut. I think <laughs> there was a whole bunch of people on, in keto at a disco and they exploded. <laughs> really? What happened? Beirut? The disco you got You didn't bombed? see that? I, I saw the headline, but I was I had to look into no, the uh, M&M &M right. Apparently, it was a fireworks factory, but... Um, Slash nightclub? I don't know. It was like a waterfront fireworks factory, if that's what it was. What? In, in which case, like, even if someone was playing, like, SimCity, I'd be like, why the fuck would you put it there? <laughs> Dude, the brat came out 
and is trying to say that Eminem never had sex with Mariah Carey, but he met her and came in his jeans. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's. <laughs> We, we had no topic. Not the sidebar. No, we're talking about Australia's autism explosion. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And they have kangaroos. You'd think autistic people would fucking love kangaroos. It's like a good, weird animal. I saw some kangaroos. How'd you feel? This weekend. You saw kangaroos this yeah, weekend? Dude, I was surprised. Uh, Brittany took me to the safari park at Six Flags. <laughs> Dude, that's a fucking nightmare, man. Because you're usually you. I got a surprise. I was like, all right, cool. oh, that's. She drove me to the sucks, safari park. Dude, that sucks. Like, dude, well, let me just. I see. hate when bays are rule. Let me see if I can communicate. And then what? they turn on you. They side with the rules over you. It's They'll crazy, get mad bro. at you for breaking the rules, dude. It's it's unbelievable. I just, there were, I was I was actually pretty close to a monkey, and I wanted to just like say what's up. Wasn't what were you gonna do? Much. I was gonna just try to make like you see a dog, you make noises, try to do like or just like you communicate with this. I was gonna go like. And like see what if it would like come come move towards me but she was, why what noise was that i don't know i'm just making like oh, wild just random yeah, noises yeah noises of the wild <laughs> shit like that that might have worked that grab a monkey's attention the safari, the safari park i had eaten my weed ice cream and I, if i'm too stoned i can't go to bed so i was <laughs> so i was up late watching love and autism so i was or love on you went on an autistic date so i <laughs> oh, nice <laughs> It's a fucking zebra, isn't it? <laughs> I suppose, yes. It's a zebra. It's a zebra. The kangaroos are being lazy. <laughs> the kangaroos are lazy, Mom. I told them. You have to stand up, kangaroos. None of this, you know, sleeping junk. Dude, yeah. What, yeah. Time? what time in the day was this? Noon. Man, that midday. would fuck me up. It's midday. I was, uh, it's midday. You I watched Hell or High Water <laughs> last night. He's I been talking out. like a cowboy. <laughs> Yeah, I was out that night raising hell, and uh, I'm Comanche, dude. Old lady woke me up. I'm a Comanche. You're, you're the actual chief from the table. I'm Comanche. That was pretty funny, man. That guy in the casino being like, "Chief." Oh yeah, like, yeah, Fuck yeah. you, dude. Yeah. Are, I mean, are you allowed to be like that outwardly racist in Texas? Yeah, probably. You see a Native American be like, "Chief." I mean, if you're if you're a rootin' tootin' son of a bitch cowboy. like that guy, if you're a cowboy. I was gonna say yeah. we gotta lose weight, dude. We gotta get slim. Who, cowboys, you and me? both of us. <laughs> cowboys are slim, dude. Fuck cowboys, dude. We're gonna, if we robbed a bank and like, what they look like? The guys like not cowboys. You know who they look like? Uh, yeah, dude, yes, I was, dude. I was. Jogging. You might be Australian. <laughs> you legit might be Australian. You might have Australian. <laughs> you might have Australian. You might be. This just be <laughs> short. Yeah. When I was at my fattest, most depressed, right after I quit football, I was yeah. about three hundred twenty pounds. <sighs> Big dog. Yeah. I was back at home. I just quit Elon. Mm-hmm. Well, failed out. Uh, I was, I went to get the mail and then when I was walking inside, I rolled my, in the front yard, dude, rolled my ankle on the sidewalk and fell into the front yard. What were you wearing? What were you wearing? <laughs> Just, I was wearing a Rude Von Nistelrooy jersey t so a Netherlands t-shirt, so it was like bright orange. <laughs> and then, yeah, well, I remember I fell on my hands and knees, which makes it funny oh. to roll your ankle and then fall <laughs> straight down on your knee, like scrape your knee. My knee, I can't hide it. My palms were yeah. gashed up. I, I have had... scars from fat falls, dude. <laughs> I just have scarred up hands. <laughs> fat people like cats. They just land on their hands and knees. <laughs> when I fat fell in the front yard, I took it in. Mm-hmm. I let A lot of people don't have that in them to let darkness just consume them. Yeah. I fell and stayed in the tabletop for a second. <laughs> I remember it. I stayed there for a second just like, Jesus Christ, dude. I dropped the mail. They should, do, they should do this. They should do a fat superhero. You know, the superheroes drop down. They land like one knee with their fist. Just have a fat superhero <laughs> fucking slam the table. Forward and just like, oh. <laughs> you have to like, dude. Imagine if your grandparents be, were like, Shane, here on a public forum, like, here's how we think about race. Go for it. You'd be like, oh, oh Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, oh. Jesus Christ. Just be my grandma being like, I don't like that Tiger Woods. <laughs> I'm like, why? There's something about him. I, don't, I like all the other golfers. <laughs> all right, it's also funny how... R.I.P., dude. Who? Oh, yeah, true. R.I.P. She did one. fucking hate Tiger Woods. Dude, it was so funny. <laughs> I mean, it was in 90, 97, I think, when he started blowing was up. Was this before sex crimes? Or not pre. Sex crimes. Oh, she hated him pre, pre being a, 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 a... You know, he was... A worth flanderer? Him, being exactly who he should be. Yeah, being a flanderer. God, I can't believe I was gay about that. Tiger that might Woods. be my biggest regret. Really? It's like being like, man, fuck Tiger Woods <laughs> for him having well, dude, sex. You were you 
your fucking your grandma laid down the emerald tablets for you. I she, know. She laid She's down. Like, Someday, son, you will hate Tiger Woods. <laughs> you won't know why until it the is prophecy, revealed. The prophecy speaks that one day will be a black golfer. <laughs> There'll be a and Nubian golfer. And it's like, gonna ruin your day <laughs> for no reason while you're just hanging out. There will be a golfer from Nubia. <laughs> Impossible. Impossible. <laughs> What will he do in the sand? <laughs> yeah, the uh <laughs> you like so if you have a kid, you know, you raise them in America, from the time they're like six, you're gonna start being like, Never forget the atrocities. Yeah. It's like that's a lot for a kid to handle, dude. He's trying to like fit in and be cool and it's like never forget the atrocities that these people Yeah, like, we well, I didn't really experience it, but I heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're hearing about it. So I immediately downloaded the book and listened mm-hmm. to it. I'm like halfway through it already. Did a lot of driving last night. Yeah. Bro, the Comanche were, you want to talk about some bad hombres? Were they really? Bro, every time I listen to people talk about, it's crazy. If you do any research into actually what Native Americans were doing, Mm -hmm. it's nuts. You'd run into this tribe of dudes that were living like cavemen. Yeah. And they'd be rowdy, dude. Obviously, they're going to fucking throw shit at you. The T levels are high. T levels are out of this world. I mean, dude, I was, you know, up until a certain age, if I went to a movie theater, I would throw shit at people. Like, I would sit in the back and throw candy at the screen. Like, pretty much, pretty recently. Yeah, that's actually very funny. You, sit in the you back. get a gummy bear stuck on there? Oh, Come dude. on. Or if you sit, you sit in the back and as soon as it goes all dark, you just go, boom, and you win, and it goes, whap, and you hear it just go, pop, 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 pop. I would always try to fart as loud as I could at the quiet parts in a movie. That's the like, best. if you can anticipate a silent part. Dude, it's the best. That's very Comanche of you. That pretty is much Comanche. enemy of everybody. Of everyone Lord of the Plains. Time. Lord of the Plains. Dude. Bro, let me let me break this yeah, down. Break for down you. the Comanche. The Comanche fucking rule. Mm-hmm. They absolutely rule. They're ugly, short, shitty people yes. that everybody crushed. So they came over, <clears throat> you know, historically on the land bridge. The, mm-hmm. the, that's where, you know, how all people came to sure, yeah. North America. The Bering so Strait? Uh, yeah. So they were up there. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> uh, so they were. Uh, <clears throat> So they were up in the Rockies. They were up in the mountains. And then just forever they had been pushed down because they sucked. Yeah. Comanches, of everybody, were like, even amongst other tribes, they were known for their bad hygiene. They sucked. <laughs> they were short. I didn't know that. They I were losing. Comanches were like No, jacked, Comanches were not like jacked. Dude. Jesus bodies. No, they were lads. Really? Comanches were pure lads yeah. and uh, introduced horses to North America. Horses were never there. Yeah. So all these different tribes got horses. And I think the Apache were munching them. The Apache, the Apache weren't sure what to do with them, so the Apache were just crushing horses. They were munching, yeah. They were munching horses. They are chopping them up. They were, that was good eating for a little while, until the Comanche, those old fucking pussies that everybody beat up forever, mm-hmm. just somehow got so good at using horses. Like, best horsemen in the world. I mean, and dude, then just if you want to go to the it, Mongolian theory, that's muscle That's exactly that's, what it was like. And then they memory. just let it rain on everybody, dude. It was their rules to torture everybody to death. Mm-hmm. If there were women, they would gang rape them and then torture them to death. Jesus. Dude, they took this one lady as a, a slave, and white slave, <clears throat> and they, uh, <clears throat> white slavery, and... Uh, <laughs> Should have a little scoreboard every white slave <laughs> in the crossface. What's that, about 18 million to one? <laughs> All right, here we go now. A little comeback, a little rally caps. Here we go now. <laughs> How about a little chatter over there? How about a little chatter in the dugout, whites? Uh, but this lady, she was pregnant when she was captured. As soon as she gave birth, they... Wait, the white lady? Yeah. She's yeah, in it. Two. Go True, ahead. technically that was two. two. Boom. <laughs> Got another one. Yeah. Comanche were mean little dickheads. Yeah. Everybody else. Dude, I'm so fired up on Comanche right now. Yeah. They ride they, they, they were the ones who would like ride on the side of the horse when they were in battles. You know what I mean? Where like, you ride on the oh, side like, and shoot. Yeah. Dude, they fucking ruled. Fucking yeah, I was listening Perfect. to fucking uh, War on the Run and it's mm-hmm. very dry. It's very like they left camp with three satchels of oh, blueberries, fuck. six gunpowder sacks. Count eight. Me out. It's oh. it's a lot. It's a lot to listen to. But then this one's just purely like they did the same thing though. The lady who got was a slave to the Comanche, she beat the fuck out of the one lady, and they, the the Apaches or the Comanches just surrounded her and were like sick. And then she beat the shit out of the old lady who was also her master, and they were all like, "All right, you're pretty chill. You can come hang out with us, <laughs> dude." They did have that. That's like a common string. Like if you were a Native American slave, all you had to do was while out. So if someone, yeah, if I was to be accosted on the if reservation, you get hammered at a casino. I should just start fighting people. If you're at a casino and you, you know, the, the lights start disorienting like you, sun, yeah. and then you get captured, <laughs> you get captured. <laughs> you, get ca- you can get captured. You them. actually, you are, yeah, you could technically get captured. Yeah, bring you downstairs. 
True. You should immediately so, swing. And if you're in a casino and you're drunk and uh, <laughs> you happen to you happen upon a security guard, <laughs> swing upon him. Dude. They'll do nothing but respect. Close like dude, you rule. That's awesome. Here's here's five hundred and chips yeah. back out there. Like you're one of us now. My driver told us that his son was dating a, an Indian chick with huge tits. And I was like, damn it. He's like, Yeah, they go all day. Fucking they smoke, bus drivers rule. Smoke weed on the reservation all day. He's like, My son has it made. His girlfriend has big tits. She's a Native American. Get the hell out of here. She used to fart <laughs> and blame it on the transmission. <laughs> Like, Must be the transmission. What were you doing up front, smelling farts? I used to, me, my cousin, me and my cousin were we were sentenced to the front seat for the entire. Oh, year. nice. Third. I was year. afraid that you sat there, and I was that was going to change things for you and I. No, bro. I had to sit there. I was like, I was so it's cool on the bus. They had a Hannibal Lecter me in the front. We used to go. I used to go on the bus, and then like me, just to sign up the bus driver, we would like look up, and when she looked in the mirror, we'd look down, <laughs> <laughs> look up, and looked, and then she's like, Matt and Pat, I'm not messing with you. Get up to the front. Yeah, they got that big. I haven't even thought about that thing in forever. Yeah, that dude. giant thing, so you can look at all the fuckers in the back. Chuck the you like Chuck Burt. We like my yeah, one yeah, of my yeah. Co- two of my cousins got kicked off the bus for throwing Bird. We got kicked off. Giving chucking birds was sick. Napoleon, I used to do Napoleon Dynamite with an action figure on a stick. You would do that? that? Yeah. Did and then when you saw it in Napoleon Dynamite, were you like, "Oh shit"? Yeah, it's kind of like, "Oh yeah." I, I didn't know. I, I thought I came up with it. No, apparently, it's a problem. I would have thought you thing. came up with that if I watched you do that, dude. <laughs> pretty sick. Do you, do you know anyone who got pussy on the bus? Um, what type of pussy are we talking here? Fingering. Fingering on the bus. I'm Suck going t- blank on sucking tits. It. I don't know. I don't know if I do. I don't know. See, that's the problem. I don't know if I did. That's how, like, rock and roll my bus days were. I just know people around me got pussy on the bus. I could have. I don't know. I don't think I did. I don't actually. No, I'm going to say I don't think I got pussy on the bus. I think I. I smooched on the bus after a field trip to the zoo. Did you really? Yeah. Yeah, it was big time. Getting hard hard now. Yeah, man. Touching a pussy on the bus is like. No, smooch. smooch, I'm the same. Please, please. I, th- I think I touched pussy on the bus. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to pussy lie. Ah, that, that sounds like a pussy lie. That sounds like something you would remember. I remember a kiss. I could be, yeah, I could be stealing pussy stories from my cousin. My You're co- stealing pussy. My cousin valid. definitely touched pussy on the bus. I'm not, I'm not going to. Does he get like discounts at Annie Ann's now? You're stealing, <laughs> you're stealing pussy valor. <laughs> I don't know. First time I touched pussy, I was at the uh, farmer's market. An actual dude that fingered pussy is going to approach you with a cell phone. Sure. Like, Did you finger pussy on the bus? Dude? You're like, yeah. He's going to be like, what was it like? You're like, well, I was 19. No. Oh, He's like, uh, Nobody was fingering pussies on the bus that year. <laughs> <laughs> oh. They they nail Australians. Australians always steal Valor. They, they got to let them do it, dude. Let the boys do it. They're at the True. mall in full regalia. Oh. And you have the audacity to approach an Australian and be like, you didn't serve. Yeah, Let man. the boys have fun. Draft the, aut- yeah. the autistics. Automa- they'd be gr- dude, I mean, just for, the, you know, just like some Rudy action. Yeah, set we, up, you, up, we like got a, ISIS on the run. Send them in. Get a sack. Yeah, dude. Send them in. Like, <laughs> look, we're winning, dude. Why don't you do it? Take a shot. Take a shot, dude. Okay. Press, press this button. I mean, dude, you're talking about drone strikes. That would be that'd be. Crazy. Get some of those boys on the sticks. <laughs> <laughs> dude, the last thing you'd hear would just be like, who, li- oh, yeah, I, who lives in a barn? I call out. You'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that'd be their fortunate son. <laughs> be a drone playing SpongeBob. <laughs> I, I I suppose you have to die then. I, these are the rules. Sorry, you're actually dead now. Thank you for joining us. Go to patreon.com slash MSSP or something. I don't know. For now. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. About holding all time. Sitting in a chair. Just, it's so bad, dude. Dude, yeah. I'm thinking about going cage diving. Decent piece on the guy if he's. I'm thinking about doing diving with great white sharks this summer in the Guadalupe Islands. My question is, would you even know, is this Elon can Musk? someone do mushrooms and go underwater tripping with scuba gear on? And if so, are your thoughts yay or nay? Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, well, I, I was like, dude, first try some scuba on a microdose, see if you can handle the scuba yeah. aspect. I was like, a large dose of mushrooms you swimming with sharks? You forget about breathing. I say no. You'd be surprised. You might get into a flow state. Dude, he was there are breathing posi- out your possible skin. positives. I told him I like, try to microdose. If you absolutely have to be on mushrooms while you swim with sharks, do like a very low dose because yeah. that might be fucked up, dude. Yeah. Has he ever done mushrooms? That's how, yeah, dude. That's how sick this guy is. He's a total sicko. Fuck. He's a total sicko. Let's go dude. with great white. When you get to know him, do mushrooms. He's a man. I this is my bro. It's a scary time. I wouldn't want to do that. Dude, take the mushrooms. Great whites might be my scariest animal. You think? He wants to do the gators. 
uh, crocodiles, bro. Yeah, crocodiles you're... are very scary. Yeah, but you're in their world, dude. Like, the cage, it... the Guadalupe Islands. Dude. Yeah, yeah, but if you great whites, you see water, a great white in the water. See, that must be so You can't see the crocs, bro. Bro, you're you're just a fucking piece of chum floating around in water. They're moving around like a dart, dude. Yeah, but I couldn't I couldn't handle the getting drugged. To, like a, a great white's a quicker death, dude. I'd fight a get, gator yeah, we, brings you to the bottom. I'd they wouldn't bring me to the bottom. <laughs> they wouldn't bring me to the bottom. I'd put a fight so on a gator. I'd put think, a fight onto a yeah, gator. Yeah, you could beat the fuck out of a yeah, gator. Yeah, you got a, a chance against gator, a gator, no bro. Chance. I'd rock you got a, a gator. chance against a gator. Bro. An alligator? You'll get fucking wrecked. You got a chance. A shark, 20 foot dead. gator? Well, what are you talking about? 20 foot gator? Where are you from? Huh? Yeah, don't know. Where are you from? Don't know Blade. guy either. You don't know guy either. <laughs> Where are you from? Don't know guy either. <laughs> That's crazy. You think you can beat the Gators? I'm not saying I'm going to beat them, but I have a chance. Give them a tiny boys. I'd fucking lay on them, dude. Bill, I get if I get the back of a Gator, what's it going to do? If like, I'm holding that Gator's back. That's like me saying I'll punch the Great White's nose. But You're underwater. You cannot, dude, you punch dude. so slow underwater. You know that's, a that's a dream your, punch. That's a dream punch. That's a dream punch. Your body would be freaking out if an alligator starts snapping yeah, at I'd you. Yeah, I'd be in go mode, you. dude. I'd oh, be in go mode. You would destroy dude, the alligator. Free, on the first bite, I'd one foot on each part of its mouth, top part, bottom part. I'd go like that. It would snap me. My legs would come together. Dude, it, I would balance right on its fucking bottom lip and its top lip. I'd stand on it, do a split when it opened his mouth, jump like, off, hook, and then hold it. And I'd go, somebody call the police. I got this fucking gator. Call the fucking police. Call animal control. Guys, hurry up quick. If you get a gator's back, it gives up. Bro, I mean, guys, the average size for a fucking male alligator is only 11 feet long, dude. You can beat nothing. the I fuck can, out of it. Dude, Especially, I mean, dude, considering that, that is? considering large males can reach a weight of... About a thousand pounds, dude. You would <laughs> fuck that Ooh, thing up. Thowie. Yikes. The longest alligator ever recorded was 19 feet, two inches. Where are you from, Don Ogaida? <laughs> <laughs> They're biggest. Where are you from, Don even know A couple blue bears making a blue bear pie. <laughs> <laughs> no, crocodiles, bro. Crocodiles are more scary than gator. They'd be Everybody more knows that. Yeah. Yeah. Saltwater crocodile, a little Nile crocodile coming at you. That would be scary. Hippo would be a real bummer, dude. Yeah. Snap but right I saw now. a video of a, a great white going under the boat. We had the the just the fin sticking out and the, the V that it created in the water, the the wake. It was very scary. Yeah. Being in the ocean is the scariest. I hate that, dude. Being I don't deep mind in being the ocean in the, be in very the spooky. body surf and that shit. The people who like are on boats and jumping out in the middle of the ocean, like swimming, it's like, dude, you're a yeah. fucking idiot. I've done yeah. it. It's That's very insane. scary. I've done it. In <laughs> deep water? You ever yeah. see Land Before Time? Yeah, hell yeah, dude. What's that I, song? I think about once every... One, about twice a year, I think about that one little dinosaur eating his way out of the grass nest and like being like, oh shit, here I am. I think about that all the time. But you know the song where they're looking into the deep water? Yeah. What is that song called? Do you remember? I don't remember, but I'm saying. I thought it was on. deep, deep water forever. Like that's I thought the song was that. Me and Spade looked it up the What's other day. The song? It's big water. It says big, 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 big water. The okay. whole time I thought it was deep. It's fair. <laughs> Put that into consideration with today's economy and the way things are going geopolitically. That's Can what I'm talking about. Believe Will Smith. That's what I'm talking about. No, That's I pro can't. podcasting. Exactly. Pendulum swinging. The pen, when do guys? When do you think Dude. the pendulum is going to swing back? Because this woke culture's run amok. Or well, would we even notice? Because we're so deep in it, dude. Would we not notice? If we could. It could be swung back Wouldn't already. Did you ever think about that? Yeah, it could be. Did you ever think about that? No. Think about that. Muskrat, dude. Once the muskrat fucking takes Twitter back, dude. I hate Elon Musk, dude. Now that everybody on Twitter hates him, I fucking hate him. His family's a fucking bunch of scumbags. Why? His dad owned nice. a mine in fucking South Africa. Yeah? That's, I mean, they're, they're old. Uh, you're going to say that and use a cell phone? Bro. I'm just you're saying. say that and use a cell phone? Yeah. I'm just saying. Like, the, the people who are saying, like, oh, he's all for free speech. No, no, no. Not so fast. He might be a red herring. What do you mean? Dude, he might be a bad guy. I'm not like he's doing all this Why fucking. Why is he cool. a bad guy? It feels too good. What he's doing feels too good right now. It's a trap. Your antennas are up. Yeah, I don't There's know. Some, something's up. His mom's a bit of an occultist. A little weird. Who's a good guy? Huh? Do we have any good guys? They really? like. Is there somebody that's big and famous that's a good guy? It, like, dude, literally, you can't. It's hard to say because everyone there's it's there's no like you're sitting here like who's a black hat, who's a white hat, dude. It's not that easy, for sure. But supposedly Musk is a bit of a fucking not to be trusted. What really? Do you mean? So you're siding with the Dems? I'm not siding with. That's what I'm saying. There's, uh, it's there's also no dude, black I'm unaffiliated. You're Dem. I'm unaffiliated. Uh, if you don't like Musk, you're Dem. Dem. 
No. You're Joe Biden. If you don't like Elon Musk, you you're love Joe Biden. Biden. That's what my mom. That's what my mom. News for you. It's Musk or Stephen King. You're Joe Biden. Though. My mom. Stephen my mom King. hit me with that. You're like, a thriller. She, you're a thriller. Dude. She asked you're me. A thriller novel. She asked me why I didn't like Israel, and she was all pissed off. And she just goes, "So you're with AOC and the gang?" That's like, no, what I'm that's saying. not it. You are with the gang, bro. You were part of the squad. <laughs> the squad. You're the that's newest exactly. member of the squad. Yeah, dude. So you either you're with no Musk, more AOC, exactly. The white lady. Who is a white lady? I don't know. Isn't there a white lady in there? They should just give the them squad. the view in like five years. Those ladies are getting old as it's hell. The view. Give them the view. Oh, that's the view. Alana Omar is a bit of a fucking freak show. Why? I like what she She's like too. married her brother. Well, that was <laughs> that. They read into that. Snopes. 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 Snopes fact check. Wasn't it just like her brother on paper or she like paper married her brother? Bro. I Bruh. mean. Minneapolis is a fucking hub. of Dude, like, you wouldn't marry me shit. to get me out of a. Like, where was her brother from? I don't know. You want me to get, I was in a, if I was in like a hotbed country. This is tough. God damn. Guys. I mean, brother, I'm marry Saltwater me. crocodile, 23 feet, weighs about 2,200 pounds. Holy hell. Imagine that thing bearing down on you. Has anyone put an alligator versus a crocodile? It yeah, has to that happen. has to have happened. I'm sure the Romans got after it. Fuck. And yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. So Thank what? you. There were no alligators in the old world. Yeah. No alligators in the old world. Yeah. They were just an America type thing? Yeah. Hmm. True. I mean, like he's just yeah, waiting yeah. We're not talking about stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. I did uh, laugh Boston once, and I walked. Uh, there were forty veterinarians there, and I walked. Why? I walked all of them. I was talk I, at the time. I was doing a lot of jokes about death, like dying yeah. and stuff. And uh, this lady goes, "It was at Christmas. It was their Christmas party, I guess." And she goes, "Change the subject." And I was like, "Well." When I, and I got fucking pissed and I started talking to her and I was like, what do you do? And she was like, I'm, I, you know, I work at the vet. And I go, but what do you do? And she goes, I massage the dogs before the operation. <laughs> oh. And I go, do you get extra for for the hand job? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and they all got up and left and then sent letters to the club and said, your comedian insinuated that my assistant mm -hmm. uh, sexually manipulates animals. That is part of the job. <laughs> dude, they, they pop anal glands and stuff. Yeah. They do. Yeah, dude. A dog gets a, their anal glands their get anal fucking... Their anal glands get swollen. LaMare, shut him up, dude. Oh, yeah. Why don't you explain the Yeah, LaMare, Sean's dynamic. boss now. You hired Matt, LaMare I can to... tell you this, though. When you... When no, you... hold on, hold on. This is very important to... Yeah. This is, this is important part of canon. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, we hired... Uh, Sean's our producer, but we hired LaMare. We had fired LaMare traditionally. Yes. I got LaMare fired was for, our yeah. original right. producer? Because uh, one time we, yeah, he was original producer. He we was just unbelievably bad at it. <laughs> yeah, he just fucked up constantly. We had someone yeah. sat out of frame for an entire. He deleted, time. He, <laughs> it was he deleted one entire episode. <laughs> he would eat on camera. You'd hear him fucking crackling. <laughs> he'd be high as shit. All of a sudden, you'd hear a bag of chips start to open. <laughs> it was usually during a lull where we had nothing to say. There's some chips, so we were both like, "Fuck him! <laughs> it's his fault." <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so, we fired, so we fired him. And it, by the way, took the firing like a champ. Dude. Like a fucking champ. Dude. Yeah, he dude. was just like, oh, yeah, I get Why it. Why are you acting like you got fired? <laughs> Why are you talking like you got fired from Microsoft? Or something? You got fired from this. Who cares? No, I know, but I'm <laughs> saying we're friends. <laughs> right? So it was weird to and be like. It was like, before the pod was big, right? Just right when it was starting to get like, you're doing me a favor, dude. To come sit fortune and watch you guys. Four, it was Fortune 300 at now, the time. Yeah. Fortune 300? Now it's Fortune oh, yeah. 5. All right. You guys yeah. are doing real well. I see the charts. <laughs> I do. I see the charts. Which one, bar or this one? Which one? The one that we're number one on? I see chartable. I don't, I don't, I don't care for it. Shut up over there. This show's always This isn't above. your mom's house. This is uh, no, I'm serious. You guys chart well. I'm not being funny. Which no, charts are you referring to? We need Lemay, look up the charts. If you go to Chartable, <laughs> Chartable is a website and it shows you like the Apple rankings. Gotcha, gotcha. And you guys consistently are above my podcast and it bothers me. Why? Like we don't look at that. You got to stop looking at that. Yeah, stuff, we don't look dude. at the charts. We look uh, at the money charts. Yeah, yeah that's dude. what I look at, dude. <laughs> Let's talk about it. You saw what I'm wrong with today, right? Oh, I saw you in there almost. Whoa, dude. What the fuck are you doing? I don't want to. That's $100, no, no. Big folks. Big faces, bro. Yeah. Folks, that's $100. Yeah, that's $100. There's folks. a 20 under it, too. Folks. <laughs> that's my favorite thing you do. The folks joke? Folks. I don't really do he'll much. Tell, he'll tell like a stupid joke, and then the, 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 to end it, you just, folks. <laughs> Let me hear one. Let me hear one. I know you got one loaded. Uh, the one I used to do to the uh, <laughs> on stage, I would do it. You know Blake Wexler? Yeah. All right, I, I have a funny Blake Wexler thing that, that relates to this, but I would I would find a fat guy 
<laughs> they go, hey, buddy, you could be a runway model at LAX, you know, because he's fat. Yeah, you yeah. Get it? And then I go, Folk, but then it, but folks, you know. <laughs> and then I'd find a lady with huge tits, and I'd go, lady, is that a boob job? Looks like your doctor was working overtime. Listen, folks. <laughs> it was bad on purpose. It was, that yeah. was, it was Listen, stupid. folks, is great. But, uh, but uh, I did that at a, a show that Blake Wexler had, and I did the runway, and dude, it it like bombed. Like they didn't get the irony of it or anything. The guy just thought I was being mean. Yeah. And I got off stage, and Blake Wexler was laughing so hard. He goes, "My favorite part of the show is when you called that guy a fat pig." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they don't like fat yeah. talk anymore. You can't that do that. Real, wow, you're like you said that like you hate Blake. You're like, I love Blake. Yeah. I was just gonna start. I was just gonna start complimenting Blake, and then I was I like, "That's so kind of much. fucking gay of me." He's shooting a special this weekend. Oh, really? Him. Yeah, in Damn. Cleveland. Yeah, Blake's the man. I ran into him on the way into the NFC Championship game in Philly. He's the man, dude. Yeah, he's like the nicest. He's funny as shit too. Yeah. He really makes me fucking. laugh. Is he still working with Todd Glass a lot. Uh, Todd Glass posts I, the funniest fucking social media. Todd's shit. so funny, man. What's he do? He posts like weird videos where he's like the Uber driver and somebody else is filming. He's like, our Uber driver's crazy. And he's just up there ranting. He's so good at like actually being that guy. Todd's the best guy ever. He's got a little Mel Gibson in him. Todd Glass is a Todd little Glass, Mel. A little Mel. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of yeah. Mel, dude, I What's just watched Braveheart. Wait, let's talk week. about Todd Glass bits first. Now, hold on. Let's talk about Mel. Let's talk about Braveheart, dude. Yeah, Gibson. Come on. Right. This is how you get the oh, yeah. Up. He's got movie takes. He's oh, a big movie snob. A I'm not a file. snob at all. You're a bit of a xenophile. A xenophile. <laughs> foodie. You're, it, you're, it's been a your Twitter file. bio should be foodie slash xenophile. <laughs> foodie? You shouldn't be comedian? Well, then, obviously. <laughs> be like, no. Yeah, no, you, might, you have a point. I'm what sorry. about a FIBA, what about a like FIBA file? <laughs> Fee, fee, I'm a me. Wait, what did you do? You a FIBA file? What's a FIBA file? A FIBA file is like a cool pedophile. It's like the guys who are like only like 16, 17. Yeah. Beast. Uh, <laughs> I used to say Dalia. <laughs> you know, folks. <laughs> there you go. That's a good folks. Point, sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 what do you think about Mel Gibson? Uh, I'm a fan. All right. I mean, I, he Everything? had a slip up about what? <laughs> <laughs> he had a slip up. Wait, we all you know, you talking about Daddy's Home too? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wasn't that like his first one back? Was I, like Daddy's Home? Vi- Daddy's movie? No, his Mark, first one Mark back was, like, was the Beaver. Here, brother. The Beavers with Jodie Foster directed it. I've never even what heard are you doing? of it. What was the movie about? It was a movie about a guy who had a mental, like he was in therapy and he started to carry a puppet around of a beaver. I think that he would like speak through. What? That was his first one back? Yeah, it was like an art house kind of thing that Jodie Foster did. Uh, and But she, I mean, dude, and dude, he did that like, I'm talking like. Right she, after. she, I was like, damn, jo- Jodie Foster's a G. Like, she stepped right in like nice. a month later. Was like, I'm yeah. gonna get you back on your feet, I mean, pal. I'm just gonna, <laughs> you know, like I was like, God he, damn, I don't even think gonna, he paid the ticket yet for when he called the cop a Jew or whatever the yeah. fuck he said. He's just every day. He got busted for everything. I think he yeah. that like he just nuked everything so hard that it was like just let him right back in. Yeah, it's so. It, it, it was he did everything. He hit every you know button you could possibly. You know what hit. I saw last night or yesterday. Yeah. That was uh, Ray Liotta's final movie, <gasps> Cocaine Bear. Oh, was it good? No. <laughs> I heard it, it was like good? kind of fun and crazy. It's not. It's kind of fun and crazy, but it's also it's bad. It's got a lot like half the jokes are like if a little kid says fuck. Oh, I uh, hate that. It bothers me uh, so much. It, no. I saw it That's in theater it. and there were people howling laughing, <sighs> which actually made me start to laugh because this one lady got she got the giggles. <laughs> she couldn't stop laughing. And then I started. I was like, first, I was like, fucking retards think this is funny. And then she kept laughing. I was like, fuck, <laughs> that's pretty funny. She's funny. Uh, yeah, the whole movie's it's crud. Yeah. How's Leota in it? He's actually pretty good. But it's a bummer that that's his. Was he? But I mean, I feel like Leota. <laughs> this is his last movie. Is, yeah. <laughs> Leota was it's on. Kind of a good way to go, though. He gets fucking killed by a bear. He That's was on auto. Sweet. Uh, like I feel like the last ten years, he was really on auto. Yeah, he's doing fucking. Like, yeah. Like oh, you, uh, what am I doing? Playing a crazy coke, coke? Okay, you know, like every movie. What did he, like. Yeah. What did he do besides he did. Goodfellas? I don't even know what movies he was in. He's in shitloads. Uh, really? Was it shitloads. Field of Dreams? What? He's in Field of Dreams. Small part. Briefly. Copland. Yeah. He's great in Copland. He's a great act. Something Wild was his big breakthrough. Yeah. The Jonathan Demi movie. He's great. He's great. He was a great actor, and he was great at playing a guy that, like, an, like an intense. He played Sinatra in the Rat Pack. He was awesome. What? 
He's he's a great actor. But then this last 10 years, 